today we're gonna talk about turtles and uh, their need for UVB light. This is an integral part of any turtle's setup and care. And I get it, if you're an amateur turtle keeper or you're just looking into the care of turtles, it seems weird, like a funky light? Like, how's that gonna do anything for them? It's just, it's just light, it's not even anything physical. But the fact is, it's actually really, really important for turtles and their development and growth. The light that they need is called UVB. It's a special kind of light. Uh, rays of UVB are emitted from the sun naturally, so all turtles in the wild get natural sources of UVB. But when they're in captivity, there's obviously not a sun above them 24-7. So you need to supplement that with a UVB bulb you can get to the pet store. Uh, ZooMed's Repti Sun works fine. There's also a link down in the description if you'd like to get one there. But basically what this does is it replicates the sun's rays and uh, makes it the same sort of light that's coming down on your turtle. So what this UVB does is it hits the back of the turtle's shell and it actually allows them to synthesize calcium in their diet. So if you look at a turtle here, you can see when they're kind of frightened, they're sucking into their shell, all you can really see is the shell. And believe it or not, that shell is made of bone, similar to the bones inside your body, your arms and your legs. It needs a lot of calcium to be strong and not too brittle, a little bit flexible. It kind of, it needs to be a very fine consistency to work functionally. And uh, if you've ever heard people say that calcium is good for your bones, well then that, that's kind of why turtles need UVB. The UVB, of course, is not calcium itself, but when it hits the back of their shell, it allows them to process calcium that's already in their diet. So they need to be getting calcium in their diet and then the UVB that allows them to produce vitamin D3, which actually allows them to synthesize or put that calcium to use into making the shell strong and just keeping it that way and allowing it to grow properly and function like a proper shell could. So that's why, kind of why UVB is important and necessary for turtles to have. Let's take a look at what happens when they don't get UVB. So here's one of the Emerald Scales rescue animals, which if you don't know, there's links in the description about that if you're curious. He's one of our rescue animals, and he went his whole life before he came to us from the moment he hatched to the moment that we got him, he didn't have any UVB light lighting on him at all. And if you compare his shell to Sylvia's here, who is my turtle, if you compare his shell to hers, there's some serious differences. His shell, for one, is very lumpy. It hasn't grown properly. It's actually done something that we call pyramiding, which basically means they're getting he's getting all the calcium and all the things he needs in his diet, but he can't process it. He can't synthesize it because he's not getting that UVB. So instead of forming these smooth, well-growing shell scoots, what happens is all this all this nutrients that it's getting is just distributed on the top of the scales, on the top of the scoots, and it forms little lumps, little pyramids. Another side effect you can see in a shell is it's actually very rubbery, which is really, really bad. You'll find with hatchling turtles, normally their shells are very, very rubbery and squishy, and that's because they've been in the shell for, you know, all these days during the incubation period but uh, they haven't really been exposed to the sun and they haven't been getting that UVB. So it usually takes a couple weeks of proper UVB light once they hatch out of their shell for their shells to actually harden up. And that's fine because they're designed to be able to go a little bit without UVB while they're in the egg, as long as they get the sufficient amount when they come out. But if they don't start getting that sufficient amount the moment they come out, well, stuff like this starts to happen. Here's Franklin, uh, a turtle you may recognize from another specific YouTuber's YouTube channel. I won't go into details, but Here's Franklin, um, and before Alex got Franklin, he didn't have proper UVB, uh, at least during the winters, because he was kept inside and he didn't have any lighting on him. So you can see even his shell, while his is not nearly as bad because he at least had it for half of the year when he was outside in the summer, but during the winter he didn't have it, so his shell isn't a perfect smooth shell either. It's kind of got these weird lumps here and then it kind of sinks down here. It's just not as smooth and perfect as a slider's shell should be, and then it kind of curls up over here. Another thing you'll see on this guy is some scarring and some remnants of uh, shell rot, which is another issue that can happen uh, due to a lack of UVB. It can be due to lots of factors, but one of the things that can cause shell rot is a lack of UVB. So if you see some of these, that's definitely not a good sign, especially if your turtle doesn't have UVB. To a certain extent, it is reversible in the sense that this guy's shell will harden up with time and it'll actually gain some of its former strength if it's exposed to enough UVB. However, you also notice that Franklin's shell never really turned to the normal shape it should have been. And the same will be with this guy. While it might harden up and you might still be able to grow a little bit more, he'll never turn back to the normal shape that we saw in Sylvia. He'll always have this little lump. So certain aspects of lack of UVB can be permanent and cause permanent issues. And in fact, because this guy was so young with his lack of UVB, it's possible his growth is stunted and he won't get any bigger than this. So I hope that made it clear why UVB is such an integral and important part of turtle husbandry and care. It's 100% necessary and needed, and if it's not there, dire consequences can happen. 
This is Amazing Animal Adventures, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.